In this video, I am going to teach you how to add a balcony, pitch roof, an interior view, and some trees coming out of your basic two-point perspective treehouse. If you don't know how to draw a two-point perspective treehouse, that's another video. Go check that one out. Remember, it is super important that you know the difference between vertical and horizontal lines and knowing your right and left is also very helpful. Oh yeah, and also knowing that your orthogonal lines are the lines that are going towards your vanishing points is also a handy definition to remember. You should have a piece of 12 by 18 inch paper with your basic treehouse on it already drawn, a pencil, a ruler, and an eraser. To make a balcony on the right side of your treehouse, Line your ruler up with the vanishing point on the left side. You are going to be extending the length of the floor line. Then I line my ruler up with the vanishing point on the right side to connect the line I just drew past my house. Connect your ruler to the vanishing point on the left once again to finish off that corner on the right. I know that is a lot of words, so hopefully the picture makes sense. Now this balcony looks really cool, but if you were to stand on it, you would be a safety hazard. So let's just draw the railing. I start by making a vertical line in the corner. Connecting the top of the vertical line to the vanishing point on the right. Then, connecting the orthogonal line with another vertical on the right. To finish up the little side, I simply connect the vertical line on the left with an orthogonal line headed to the vanishing point on the left. I measure out some tick marks to make some bars on the railing every half inch. Perfectly vertical. There you go. Making a pitched roof on a treehouse at this angle doesn't look the greatest, mostly because you do not even see the back side. To make a pitched roof, find the center of the side where you want the pitch to be. You can do this by making an X on the side by connecting corner to corner. Once you have the center, draw a perfectly vertical line up from that point. Connect both corners of the house to the top of that vertical line. Then the top of that point towards the vanishing point on the opposite side. So in this drawing, it would be the right vanishing point. However, the building is up so high, you don't see any other part of the roof. I'm going to turn the front part of this house into a huge opening. I drew lines parallel to the vertical lines on either side and connected the roof line to my vanishing point. I also had to show where the ceiling was, which would also be the bottom of the triangle roof. So I connected the corner to the vanishing point as well. To draw a window inside, I started the same way I would outside with a vertical line with a top and bottom that connected to the vanishing points on the right. Oh, I just realized something funny about my balcony. If I wanted anyone to hang out out there, I'm going to have to draw a door. Easy peasy. Start with a vertical line on the right and connect the top to the vanishing point. Finish it off. I'm going to use my ruler to show the girth of my tree trunk showing on the inside of my open plan tree house here. I'll add a few branches here and even a hole in the roof for this branch to fit through. Now, let's see. I don't know how people are going to get into this treehouse, but I do know how they will get out. A slide! Ta-da! If you want to add an addition, learn more about drawing the tree branches or shading your drawing, check out the other videos. Good luck!